Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to convert your MBR to GPT partitions without losing any of your data and how to do it for free. There's a lot of tools out there, but they charge money for it. And I'm going to show you how to do it inside Windows 10 for free. So right click on the start button and click on disk management. You can see this is our drive here. It's disk zero. I've got another drive here called CD-ROM drive. I'm just going to quickly unmount this and then I will show you how to do it. So let me just quickly unmount this uh, drive so you don't get confused here. I'm just going to eject this one here. There we go. And we'll go back to disk management here. So this is our drive. So if we click on disk zero, mine's called disk zero. Yours might be called something else. Right click on it and go to properties. Once we go there, we can click on volumes and you should see partition style. It says master boot record MBR. And that is the MBR master boot record for this drive. We need to convert this to GPT. If you want to upgrade to Windows 10, you're going to need to convert this to GPT. So, so if we check out Microsoft's website here, they have a tool called MBR2 GPT. It's an executable file that's inside Windows 10, and it will allow you to convert from MBR to GPT without losing any data, which is exactly what we want to do. If we check the actual document here, it tells us some examples on how to use the tool. But don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly what to do and how to do it in this video. So let's go crack on. So what we're going to do here is go to File Explorer and click on this PC here. And you can see our drive. Just going to quickly make sure that inside Windows and System32 that we do actually have that file on here. So I'm just quickly checking here before we continue. So we'll come down to here and you should see the actual file is in the system 32 area. MBR2 GPT is built into Windows here. So that's good. So now we've got that going. So let's go ahead and open up the command prompt. So we need to type in the search box CMD and we can run this as administrator. So click on run as administrator, say yes to the user account control and this will open up our command prompt box the first command we're going to type in is this one here. This is going to validate our disk to make sure that it is MBR. So I'm just going to quickly get this typed out. And make sure that the disk colon zero is actually the disk that you are checking. If it's not, then it's going to come up with an error here. But you can see here, validation completed successfully. So if you're disk one, you need to make sure you change disk zero to disk one or vice versa or whatever disk you're using. So let's go ahead and put the second uh, command in, as you can see on the screen here. And this is to convert uh, the disk from MBR to GPT. So I made a bit of a typo there. You can see I've got full as in F-U-L and not F-U-L-L. -L. So no biggie. It's come up with a little message here to tell me something's gone wrong. So I'm going to use the cursor arrow keys to push up to bring the command back up and use the backspace key to move it back and put an extra L inside here. Just a little typo. That's OK. So once we've got the command done, just push enter and this will start the process. So it's going to start the process and you can see it's done all what it needs to do here. And you should see at the very bottom here, it says before the new system can boot properly, you need to switch the firmware to boot to UEFI mode. That is your BIOS. You need to go to the BIOS. Normally to enter the BIOS, you restart the PC and you keep tapping the delete key. Keep tapping the delete key on restart and it will enter the BIOS. Once you restart your computer, you should see something looking like this. This is the BIOS screen. And you will see in the center here, you can see under settings, there is a boot mode selection and we need to make sure that is set to UEFI. Once you've done this, you can then start the PC up and you should be able to then boot to your Windows 10 operating system. Once you get to your Windows 10 operating system, you will be able to update to Windows 11. You can't upgrade to Windows 11 with an MBR uh, partition system. So you need to go to GPT. Let's take a look here. I've still got my documents on the PC and I'm just going to quickly check to see where that's converted. So we're going to right click on the start button, go disk management, open up the disk management tool here. 
Okay, so you can see the CD-ROM drive is repopulated here, so I'll eject this. Um, and I'm going to quickly go to File Explorer here, and then this PC. And you can see there's the drive there. Now, it's also got this system reserved uh, area here. We need to hide that. So let me just eject the ISO from there. And we're going to hide the system reserve here. We don't want this being visible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back into uh, Disk Management here. So let's close this off. Go back to Disk Management. And you should see the system reserve here. So what I'm going to do is hide this. The way we hide it is by changing the drive letter and paths so if we click on this one here you should see a drive letter e and that shouldn't have a drive letter so if i look at the change here you'll see this is where you can change your drive letters here but we don't want it to have a drive letter we want it to be hidden so i'm just going to remove this and say yes and that should hide that drive and that won't be visible let me just quickly check this pc and you can see it's now gone there we go okay so let's move on to the drive letter itself, which is disk zero, and we can right click on here and go properties. Open up the properties pane here and go to volumes. And you should see now that we are now a GPT partition table, and that's exactly what we want. So that's how you can convert from MBR to GPT without losing any of your data and doing it for free in Windows 10. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.